I found a lump in my breast, and we were concerned of what it was. It started growing, so we were really concerned. I went to the nurse at the school, and they looked at it. They told me that I should get an ultrasound, and then they asked me if I had insurance, and I had actually recently just got my insurance taken. It was kind of scary because I knew I wasn't going to be able to pay for it, meaning I wasn't going to really be able to be checked out. It was scary because I knew I might have cancer, and it was just very a high chance of having to have surgery. So I called her mom and asked her if her mom would be interested in this program that we offer through the school-based health center, which is the, the CHIPRA program that we can get kids on CHP Plus or Medicaid right here, and we can get them on the same day. I've worked in a lot of different settings, but when I started working in school-based health centers about 10 years ago, I went, oh my God, this works. The school-based health center is our fully functioning uh, medical clinic that we have here at Durango High School. And a lot of times students will come in like Danielle who have a need and they need further testing that cannot be done here in the clinic. Therefore, uh, if they don't have insurance or means of paying for it, they get referred to me. Typically in a month, I see between 15 and 20 families enrolling about 30 to 35 children. And I could easily see those numbers growing. My general philosophy is that all children should have the opportunity to, su to succeed. And if they're going to succeed in school, they have to be healthy. And in our society, the way our healthcare system is set up, they have to have health insurance. This, we have the children, we have access to parents, we can educate, we can help them. And by bringing resources to the school, um, we can get parents and families connected to what they need. I see it as an example of how health care can work. We are a federal program. We're hoping to, um, to be able to extend it for another two years because we're just getting successful. We're building on what we started. These families need this help. Getting the ultrasound has helped me understand all lumps are not cancer, and it has taken that scare out of me knowing that I'm not going to have to have surgery. My name is Danielle. I'm 17, and I go to the Durango High School. Thank you.